Hello class! Welcome back again to our YouTube channel and in today's discussion about statistics and probability, we have our lesson number 8 which is about computing probabilities and percentiles using the standard normal table. So we have discussed how to use this standard normal table or simply the Z table for the areas under the curve wherein you will get the areas under the curve with their corresponding z-scores. So, previously we already discussed also how to get those areas from uh, using that standard normal table. So, now we are going to compute for the probability. For today's lesson, we have our objectives. The learner will be able to utilize the use of table, the standard normal distribution, compute probabilities and percentiles related to a given z-score or normal random variable x or our x-score. And lastly, sketch the graph of normal distribution. So, so, let's start. So, previously, we already discussed what is a normal distribution curve or the normal curve. And this time, this will be also used as a probability distribution curve. And previously, we already um determine what will be or how can we get uh, an area of the under the curve of a normal distribution curve. So that area is also the probability since the um, whole area of under the normal curve of that bell shape of the bell shape is approximately 1 or equals to 100. This can also be obtained. Uh, we can also obtain the probability with that area. So, let's have an example here. Let's say we have z-score which is negative 1.35. So, how can we get the the area of the, uh, with this z-score? So, we need the standard normal table or the areas under the curve table or simply the z table so how can we obtain values or the probably or the area from this table so we have negative 1.3 so you need first to um, take a look at the first decimal or the tenths so we have negative 1.3 here so this is the row for negative 1.3 and we need to add plus 0 0.01 so we have here given 0 0.05 so this time we have the column for 0 0.05 and their intersection is equals to 0 0.0885 that means this is the area of negative of a z-score negative 1.35 to the left. So, that is the area under the curve. And that is also the probability of the z-score negative 1.3 1.35 and the default is of course the from the left. So, now this is the notation. How can we write the probability? So, P of z probability of z score is equals to 0 0.0885 that is also equals to when we multiply this uh, 0 0.0885 to 100 it will be equals to 8.85% so this is the probability of the z score negative 1.35 so how can we illustrate that so we have this normal curve and the z score given is equals to 1.35 and this is the area that we are talking about the value from the z table is from the left so we have here two 
up to z negative 1.35 from negative infinity up to negative 1.35 so this is the probability also of that z equals to negative 1.35 We have different notations for our probabilities or percentiles. So, these probabilities again is the same with the percentiles. So, first one we have the P or the notation for the probability. Probability of Z is less than the Z score. This means less than, less than means that the probability at the left of Z. So, it's less than, so it's in the left. Second notation, we have P of Z greater than Z score. It will be all equals to 1 minus probability of your Z less than Z or Z score, the, pre, the letter A. So, this means it's greater than, the symbol is greater than. This means that the probability uh, at the right of Z score. Third notation, we have probability of A less than um, Z such that it's less than A and it's greater than A and less than B. So this means that uh, this notation is a probability of Z that is in between. So it's in the middle the area or the probability in the middle between the two other Z values. Those are A and B. And then for the fourth one, we have probability of Z less than A or the values union of probability of Z greater than B. So this probability is of Z is in the opposite direction of the two values, the A and the B. So we have the probability in between and this time the other parts of the curve or the other areas which is in the opposite direction of the two Z values which is A and B. Now we have also notation when we have a normal random variable. So here the variable x. We are looking for the probability of the variable x. So, probability or p of x is less than the normal random variable x. So, this is um, it's less than, it's again the probability at the left of the random variable x. And for letter b, we have probability of x greater than 2x score or the random variable x. Again, this is the probability at the right. So, it's greater than. So, meaning it's at the right. And third, we have the probability of the x normal variable, normal random variable x such that it's greater than a and less than b. So, this is the probability of a normal random variable x that is in between, in between the two other x values. So, or the in, in z score, the uh, two other z. And lastly, we have the probability of x less than a union the probability of x greater than b. So, again, this is the probability that is in the opposite direction of the two values a and b. Now, let us proceed to our examples to further understand our lesson. So, let's have first here, find the probabilities for each of the following. So, first, we have probability of Z less than 1.32. So, our Z here is 1.32. Probability of Z wherein it's less than to negative 1.05. Probability of negative up of Z, it such that it's greater than negative 0.75 and less than 1.56. And 
And lastly, we have probability of z greater than negative 0 0.88. So, let us solve. So, for our first um, example, here is the solution. So, find the probability of p z of z of z less than 1.32. So, previously, we already uh, talked about getting the pro, uh, getting the areas for a certain z-score. So, we have the z-value here, which is 1 point, 1 point, this is 1.32. So, we have here the z-table for positive. So, we have 1.3 for the row, and 0 0.02 for the column because it's 1.32 or 1.3 plus 0 0.02 that is 1.32 and the value we have for the area uh, for the area is equals to 0 0.9066 so our given here is less than meaning so the value that we can get from the z table is also the area or the probability. So, let us take a look at this illustration. So, we have the arrow which is the Z is equals to 1.32 and this is the area or the probability that we are looking for. So, this shaded region and the value of this shaded region is equals to 0 0.9066 or in percentile, it's 90.66%. So, for letter B, let's have the solution, which is has a given of probability Z less than negative 1.05. So, our given Z here is negative 1.05. It's negative. So, we are going to look at the negative Z value. So, because it's in the left side or the value is negative, uh, Z. So, this is the shaded region that we are going to uh, get the probability. So, here is the negative Z table. We have negative 1.0. So, we're taking a look at the first decimal. Negative 1.0. So, we have here negative 1. So, negative 1. The, the row for negative 1. And for the column, we are looking for the 0 0.05. So, 1, negative 1, um, ne 1 plus 0 0.05, then it's negative. So, we have negative 1.05. And the intersection, the value, we have 0 0.1469. So, again, the notation we have here is less than, meaning at the left. So, this value, uh, this region or the probability of this area with the Z equals to negative 1.05 is uh, the value that we've got from the Z table, which is 0.1469 or the per percentile probability 14.69%.